Nashville, the Kalamazoo Youth Development Network, or KID in Kalamazoo, provides wonderful opportunities for our young people when they're not in school with anti-racist, high-quality programming. Today, the organization is celebrating the youth and their talents with a very special event. Meg Blinkovich is the executive director, joining us to share more about Lights On After School. Meg, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you so much for the invitation to talk about Lights On After School. We really appreciate it. Absolutely. Well, first, let's start about um, what is the Kalamazoo Youth Development and, and, and your mission there? Sure. So the Kalamazoo Youth Development Network, we work with 50 youth-serving organizations in Kalamazoo County and 10 youth-serving organizations in Calhoun County. We're here to ensure that all youth have access to high-quality youth-driven after school and summer programs. The research is quite clear. The more young people participate in high quality after school and summer programs, the better the outcomes for youth. So we're here to build a system so that parents don't have to wonder about the quality of the programs that, they're, that their children are participating in. We've got some consistency across that system. And we work with adults so that their skill set is such that we can really offer uh, incredibly high quality learning opportunities for young people. That's fantastic, Meg. So to give us some examples of some of the activities and the things that these kids are doing there after school. Sure. So there's arts, uh, there's sports, leadership. Uh, yeah, there you go. There's someone <laughs> from Lights On right there. Uh, there's a vast array of different opportunities. We have more and more middle school and high school young people who are participating in what we call leadership opportunities. Young people in Kalamazoo have identified mental health, youth mental health as the number one community issue. They are action planning and working with other community-based organizations to create a youth mental health action plan. For elementary students, we've always, we always have homework help, we have arts, we have sports, um, music, all those different enrichment activities that young people would like to participate in. Wow. And, and tonight is really a celebration of all you do. So tell us about Lights On After School and, and what this is all about. Yes. So it's all about advocating for all young people to have access. Sometimes uh, in the community, we realize that not as many people know about all the different programs that are available and the impact they have. So today is about celebrating those programs and advocating for our sector, the out of school time sector. And so young people will be speaking, they'll be presenting uh, letters that they've written to community members and uh, elected officials. They'll be presenting projects that they've been working on. They'll be marching through the neighborhoods to say, what do we want after school? When do we want it now? And, and neighbors come out on their porches and say, what are you doing? And it's, uh, it, it's just a fun, engaging time for young people to really learn what it means to advocate and to care about something and to have a voice in what they care about. Oh, I love that. And so if someone wants to participate, they want to come and see what these young people are doing. What do they need to know? Uh, we will be in Kalamazoo. We'll be at El Concilio. We'll be at Eastside Youth Strong. We'll be at the Douglas Community Association and Millwood and Hillside Middle Schools. Um, at the middle schools, 3.30 to 6 and the other locations, 4.30 to 7. They can go to our website, www kidnet.org, or they can email me, uh, meg at kydnet.org. Okay, Meg. And, and and are you still taking more kids into the program? So say someone can't make it, they can't learn more tonight. Um, what do they need to Absolutely. know if they want to get their children involved? They can go to our website. We have a program finder. And so they could look at like, if they want fifth grade sports or sixth grade arts, they can go to our website plug that in and we have an online program finder. And so youth and families can get can get access and get plugged in. We are absolutely looking for more young people to participate. Wonderful. And I'm sure there are lots of young people who would greatly benefit and really enjoy this program. Thank you so much for what you do. Uh, it just sounds wonderful. And again, if you want to learn more about what they're doing, you can go to Lights On After School. It is tonight from 4 to 730. It's different locations. Um, you want to learn more, you can go to kydnet.org. We'll be right back.